hi everyone welcome to my channel a warm welcome to all my new subscribers don't forget to thumbs up this video and comment okay don't forget to hit that notification bell every time i upload a video you will be the first to know thank you to all my new supporters thank you for supporting my videos i feel so good knowing that people is backing me up and supporting me women i love y'all no negative vibes on my channel. Love y'all. I love y'all. I support y'all. And I'm with y'all. Okay? I am with my females. Males also that is going through the injustice that is going on in Trinidad. Let's stop this. You understand me? Let's stop this division. Let's all bridge the gap and love each other. And support each other. Okay? Now this topic I'm about to get into... What they did to what they did to Balkan, he deserved every bit of it. He deserved every bit of it. Those twenty two cops that did what they did to that man, he deserved more. And those cops don't need to be in trouble. They need an a reward for what they did to that man. That man needed to be taken out. I don't care what they do to this channel anymore. That man need to be taken out. And I'm glad what they did to that man. Disgusting, despicable person. You allegedly raped a pregnant woman and her best friend. So many stories every day keep revealing itself. Because you was paying people off in the system to do your dirt. 70 charges and you was not... Uh, found guilty of nothing and you walk freely what you did to these people and Andrea rest your soul in peace justice was served I don't want to hear it anymore this is a rant because we are mad and we are upset I'm upset people is upset women and children is upset okay so don't come into my comments and, and tell me and ridicule me about what I'm doing. You monsters need to be held accountable for what you are doing to these women and kids and everyone. And oppressing everyone. That no one has a voice because the system is corrupt. I don't give a damn anymore. But the, please watch this video. Please watch this video. This poor lady, she's 50 years old, and these monsters tried to kidnap her. Please watch this video. This is the situation that is going on, that the injustice system is going on, that no one is, is, is being held accountable for their nasty actions, and they're getting to walk free, and you have no rights. The shit must end. Hope everyone is loving the video. Thank you everyone who is supporting my channel. Please support this channel. No one is talking about what I'm talking about. This is very controversial but I'm bringing the light to it. I'm bringing the light to this situation. Please support this channel. I love y'all. One love. Hope everyone is going to be safe. Let's get out of this nonsense. And let's stand up for what we believe in and what is right. One love. You all are not safe. Women out here are not safe. Imagine we have, anyhow, you know, I'll talk about that just now. Ladies and gentlemen, just Saturday morning, 5 o'clock, they had an, a, a, an attempted abduction. I have the victim on the phone. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. No, don't tell me. Just take the audio. I, I know my operators did not tell you to take the audio down on your set. Could you take the, the audio down on your set a little bit? Just think of me. Uh, yeah. Good no, afternoon. I don't want you to... I, I, don't, I, I don't want to know your name, please. I don't tell me your name. But tell me exactly what happened to you in Penal on Saturday. Uh, Saturday morning, I did here to put for 4 o'clock. And while we're going to work, this um, van just come up and just pass me slow down. And when they turn and come back, I try to pull my van and they take my bags and everything. 
Wow. And, yes. they, and, they, and they were pulling you to go into the van, am I right? Yeah, but I had a fight in with one of them. I heard somebody open a window from a house and the dog, the dog started to bark. Well, while I was walking, it must be back in, but when, I don't know if anybody opened the window because I was studying stuff. Somebody open a window. Fight up. And, um... Wow. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Then when he fell, I didn't when I fall off on the road. Yeah. Really? I have everything. They will, they will have to go to the building. I wouldn't say the building. The opposite, opposite there is a... I wouldn't say where, but they have camera footage. I know the police have to go there, but they will go. I, th I, I think they, they, they went today or yesterday to see if they get any footage. They were going Saturday. They were going when on Saturday. They not any morning, yeah. Yeah, they will go Saturday and get... I think I might visit the place too, but it is terrible how you felt. I mean, how long you been walking that road? And there's your home town. Yes, I walk that road. So it is normal. I mean, I know where you work. You work, you know, in a, okay, you, you have to work, which you work that time very early in the morning. So it's a yes. normal thing. It's just a couple of minutes away from your home. Am I right? No, it's a long way from my home, I know. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a long way from the home. So I just walk out to go penal. And you are just, I think you are 51? 50. 50. But I heard your I heard your mix of East Indian and your 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 parents are Spanish and whatnot. Yeah. Right. But you ever imagine what was what what ran through your mind? Why these three men tried to pull you in this van? I have no idea why they tried to pull them. I have no idea what I'm saying. All I know they just tried to say this what I end up fighting back. I'm balling and while I ball in, one of the fella who pulled me to the van balling up. We are balling so far, we are balling so far. The men were of, uh, of, of, of what they said, East Indian? Yeah. One is a dog man, one is a Indian, it looks like. Hey. Ooh, I thank God. And I hear you. So you normally walk with a little something, they them, a little, little pen knife or something? Yeah, well, I have three knives in my bag. I didn't get to get my bag before me. Three knives you have in your bag? Yes. Yeah, yeah no, that's three knives in the bag. That real serious, girl. That real serious. And I found out about this thing. I said, thank God you're alive. It's similar. Yeah. It's it's similar to what went on in the um what went on in the in the vicinity at uh, the chief brand factory there in Charlieville. Yeah, yeah with this vehicle. Yeah. So thank God that, thank God you are alive. And I have to thank God for that. That's good thing. I say my prayers every morning. I walk on the road. Wait. Yeah. So wait. You observe this van following you. Or you find uh, they just slow down and jump out. No, they um. What happened? They didn't have no vehicle coming in the road. But all of a sudden, this van just pull up and he slow down in front of me while I walk in. Uh huh. And they went and turned by the big tank, because I took a big tank inside in uh, They went and turned there and just come back and stop up in the road, and then two of them just opened it, two back to the van and come out. So they put anything on your mouth and thing? No. So they just had to pull you by your hands? Yeah. And asking you, who you balling for? I balling help him, and then he asked me what I balling for. Thank God I have a little trunk in my car, I fight a little bit. Now, well, of course, when you know what happened to, to um, Ashanti and Andrea and them, is that what you mean? You don't know who I came, but who came? But you know, look at the, look at the extent they're doing this thing, no, like nothing bothering them. Like, yeah, no, they're not deterred. They're doing that like normal. Like normal. Not to say they're getting frightened. No, they say, well, let me pat down, let me pat down a little bit. Let's take it down a little bit. No, they, they, they're still pursuing the woman out there. I am happy to know that you're alive. I don't want to say, you know, I don't want to call your name. I don't want to say where you work. And, you know, I don't want to do that. I mean, it's, you know, I just don't want to do that. But I'm really happy that you're alive, ma'am. Really, really happy. Thank you. But, do, but let me ask you something now. Do you uh -huh. think you're going back to work? No, how do you plan to go back to work? Well, this morning I went to work with um, my son-in-law. Uh -huh. And you dropped my work. Yeah, but you are taking, you, you, are, you are coming out to work again, so? Well, I know. 
Well, the radar is called to taxi, but the taxi then don't come out so early in the morning to go to work now. Like the young man is in four. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can imagine, you know, look how you, uh -huh. look how you fought back. You can imagine some of these people that, that was held in cars, like the girl in Charlieville, who was held by Belcom, is, is, um, Belcom, Belcom, yeah. and the four girls that was raped yeah. when they went to the police station, they were raped by this man and they had matter, right, yeah. But today, they talk, when I reach penal, and people go in, um, they hear somebody you know, get kidnapped in penal, so I tell them it was me. Yeah, you can imagine when they hold the that. door, when they hold the back door and say, oh God, let me go now. Let... But what about <laughs> after they hold a, a, a little small frame girl, they, they, they hold on somebody, a little small frame, and she holding, she opening the door, let me go now, let me, mommy, mommy, mom, I want my mother, I want my father, oh God! Yeah, now that pain, that's me. Just you hear your child saying, Mama, Mama, oh God, and you, you know you're going to rape you, you know you're going to kill you. That's the last time you've seen, see, you, 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 you're going to see the big blue sky. I, don't, I, I do not know, I, I don't think I already understand this, what victims go through. This woman, maybe, might, she might be crying on the air, but she went through this. Police investigating the penal right now. They're going by a certain business place to see if they will get the footage. We're not taking this and we're not holding them down. Are you sure? Lady, thank God. Thank God you're alive. And just as you said, you said your prayer that morning. Amen. Wait. God bless you. Yeah. Way boy. Way boy. Just imagine that today. Just imagine, I just wanted to tell you know now. To let you know. Normal lady going to work in a normal every morning she gets up. Some of you don't understand that life. I come from that with family members getting up early in the morning to take taxi to go and to go to go in factory here. Yeah? Factory. I come with my uncle, my auntie, and I'm getting up early in the morning, getting up for the morning, I have a little roti in their hand, the little lunch bag, and they're going to work before seven, everybody in work. I come from that so I can understand that. It might sound like, who does get up four o'clock in the morning? You don't, but that people get up to, to who going to have an honest day work. It have plumbers, it have, it have hairdressers who get up early, prepare lunch, and go to work. It have people who, who husband working and wife working, but the wife will get up, as they say, four in the morning, four in the morning, cook up food, cook up lunch, pack the children lunch kit, pack the, pack the husband food bag, Pack her bag and they're gone. And you telling me this woman walking down the road, going and work, going to work because she had to reach early to open up and put things in her gear in, in the work. And they attempted to grab this woman. Three men. Some of you might say, but how she sung in so? You know, people just fed up and they don't know what to do, you know. You don't understand. She still has to go back to work. It's all about people, bread and butter. That is what. You and I, some of you might want some rest, take a week off. You tell people, can't take a two weeks off. Because if I take a two weeks off, I can't pay my rent. If I take a two weeks off, I can't pay my installment. If I take a two weeks off, courts might come back and take everything. I can't afford it right now. But it just goes to show what exactly is going on in this country. Let's take a fast break.